Hello YouTube, you've reached Frank from Lightning Force and today I'm going to show you how to install the LCD screen assembly on your 15 inch MacBook Pro. Alright, let's get started. Make sure you have an LCD screen assembly handy to replace on your MacBook Pro. You can find any of them online such as this one on eBay. Alright, let's move forward. Now what you want to do is you want to remove all the screws on the bottom of your MacBook Pro. They're just really tiny Phillips head screws. Um, just any micro Phillips head screwdriver will work just fine. Make sure you're not stripping the screws and then remove the bottom cover. Go ahead and take off the aluminum clips that are on each side of your MacBook Pro holding the cables on your screen. These clips use micro Phillips head screws. Now disconnect your data LCD cable. Uh, it has a clip that you flip upwards by pulling the plastic tab and then slide it backwards. Now with your micro Phillips head screwdriver you want to disconnect the frame that is connected to your chassis and your hinge. And there's one frame in each side. This frame is what mounts the back cover onto your laptop. Go ahead and take that off. And now to disconnect the frame on the other side, which is pretty much the same way. I'm going to go ahead and take one screw out that's holding the frame in, but my data connector cables, the Wi-Fi cable is going to be in my way. So I'm going to take the screw out and then I'm going to loosen up those cables. Disconnect the power button wire, which connects directly onto the logic board by sliding it out and then just pull up the other ribbon cable that is next to it. Move all the cables out of your way. There's another micro Phillips head screw onto that frame that also connects a ground wire. Go ahead and disconnect that screw and then you should be able to pull the frame right out of your way. That's holding the hinge. It looks like this plastic panel that's holding your connectors are in my way before I can get the frame out. So we'll go ahead and pull that out first. Now I should be able to pull that frame right out. There it is. Using a T8 micro screwdriver, I should be able to remove the the uh, hinges right off the chassis. So let's go ahead and do that. There should be three screws on each side of the of the hinges.
Now open your laptop like an L and then just go ahead and slide the screen right out. Should be pretty easy. And voila! That's how you remove the LCD assembly, the complete assembly for the MacBook Pro 15 inch. Basically, you want to adjust your hinges all the way out as if your screen is all the way open, or to a shape of an L if you remember how it is just by looking at the old assembly, and just slide it in from the top, from the from the bottom of your MacBook Pro, just like this. And then you can go ahead and uh, close it, and then or just screw everything together open, just like this, just like I'm about to do. Now we're going to put four of your T8 screws in place, uh, two on each side of the hinge, leaving the middle one uh, not screwed in, the middle part of your hinges. Fold your laptop screen closed now that you got all your screws tight in place and set your laptop down back on the table so you can reassemble every connection and also the clips and the frame and that way you can get everything back together. Now go ahead and put the middle hinge screw, T8 screw on each side back in place and ensure that all six screws are tight. Now install the frame on the side where the DVD drive is. Uh, make sure you move the cables out of the way, but set them just where the frame would actually sit in place, tucked right over the cable, as you see in the video here. And also, uh, we're going to connect the plastic panel where the Wi-Fi connectors connect into. So we're going to do that right after this frame is uh, screwed in. Now we're going to set the screw in where the uh, ground wire connects on the far corner where the frame mounts in. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. Whoops! Looks like I put a screw in on the left, far left side where the plastic panel connects. So we have to get the plastic panel in first and then put that screw back in. So let's go ahead and do that. Put the plastic panel on and then set that screw right back in place. Now screw that plastic panel right back where it belongs.
I am putting the other micro Phillips head screw in on the plastic panel right on the far end of it. Time to connect all the cables. So I'm going to connect all the Wi-Fi cables and the data cable and also the power connector cable onto the logic board. And this is one of the final steps. Let's go ahead and get that done. Time to install your aluminum locking pins for your cables on each side of the MacBook. All right, time for the test. Now before inserting your screws on your bottom cover, make sure you test your MacBook Pro first. Make sure the screen's working and everything's functioning properly. Your Wi-Fi is working good, your audio, uh, everything's working 100%. All right, everything is working great. I have finished installing the LCD assembly on a MacBook Pro 15 inch. This is how you do it. If you have any questions, feel free to reply to this video and I'll respond to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching and you all have a great day.